Alrighty, I'm starting up a video over on Garfield Circle over in Melbourne. So it's off of Sarno, kind of, you know, in the O'Galley area. This whole neighborhood is extremely cute, well-maintained. Um, this block was constructed in the 60s. So this house was built in 1962. However, I have to say this neighborhood is absolutely just charming. It's old Melbourne charm. So if you want to drive through it, I highly recommend doing that. Um, we have a little bit more space over on this side to park a car, but um, it's got three bedroom, two bathroom, one car garage. It's concrete block. It's on city water and sewer. It does have irrigation, which is on a well. So you get that for free. All of the windows have been redone. It has a fireplace. Um, glass slider doors lead you out back. Um, you have a canal in the backyard, but it's fenced in and everything. No neighbors directly behind you. Um, this is, would be like your living room, dining room combination. And the garage is right through there. The, I'll show you that the, there's a laundry room through there too, but it's kind of in its own space. It's not directly in the garage. Um, so this is the kitchen. They just put in granite countertops, black stand or black appliances. Um, it's been on the market for like three or four days, but it's been super popular. They have multiple offers received and um, see that nice big window. Um, priced at 200,000, it's extremely underpriced. They um, may have been trying to get multiple offers Maybe they thought it was worth 200000 but it is underpriced. So we could always do an escalation clause if you are interested. Let me get back to the video. Um, so we have three bedrooms. They're over on this side of the house. If I go left here, this is the guest bath. Now they're not done. They are, I think they're going to put some more of this like plank vinyl in this bathroom. But you can see it's the original terrazzo right now. Um, we have tile around the shower. So that's kind of like that old style where it's all tiled. But if you were here in person, you can kind of tell that they painted it. It looks pretty good, but they're still in the process of painting this room. They're painting it white. They just painted these cabinets, which these are oak. So it's kind of like bleeding through. Um, I don't know, maybe, that, maybe that's what they want it to look like. I don't know. But it just, they, it's obvious that they did a remodel and everything. Um, this is bedroom number one. Pretty windows, they're all new. Um, it's a decent size. Overall, the house is under 1,100 square feet of under air living space. So I know that's definitely on the smaller end for you. Here we have a closet right in the middle of the hallway. And then guest bedroom number two. No, I'm sorry, this is actually the master. Hang on, I'm gonna keep going. Walk-in closet. Okay, it's a um, medium size. It's not huge, it's, real, it's really boxy like a square, but it's a decent size. And then we have master bathroom, walk-in shower, and it's obvious that they're still working on the flooring, but they're gonna put this vinyl. That's where the toilet will go. And then you have the same tile around, around the bathroom and Last but not least, we have bedroom number three. It's like one of the guest bedrooms. Closet. Okay, so let me go back. You have attic access right through there. So guest bath, bedroom, master bedroom, bedroom. Then I go back through here. We have kitchen to the right.
living room to the left, dining room. And then on this side, this is the garage and it um, has a little more space back here that they kind of blocked off for your washer and dryer. We have some storage up here. The um, water heaters from 2020. AC looked about 2009. Not sure about the age of the roof, but it was dimensional shingles. So I am assuming that it's in pretty decent shape. It didn't really clarify on the listing. This is what the electrical panel looks like for a house that was built in 1960. It looks like it's been done at some point, I think, because that doesn't look bad. And then you have another attic access right there through the garage. Okay, and I will just step out back really quick, show you the backyard. So you have a shed. You have some more concrete poured right there to have some, you know, room for entertaining or put a table. And that over there, that's the well for the sprinklers, I assume, because the sprinklers are on well. Again, it's on city water and sewer. And this structure on the back porch looks really good. It's in, it's, it's, it's fairly new. Okay, so it's, I mean, beautiful, beautiful house. It's in a gray neighborhood. It's close to work for you, Grace. Um, the only setback would be, yes, you're gonna pay more than 200,000 and it's smaller square footage for you. So anyway, um, the property taxes are really low too. All right, I will talk to you about this a little bit later. Bye.